Mr. Coach, another three points against Gorilla. Uh, first of all, your reaction, uh, a match which is, was very tough for you. Mm -hmm. How was the game? I'm uh, very happy with the result. Uh, it's a big win and there is additional value to our win because of the quality of Gorilla. We knew before the game that they are a very tough team. We knew that they are not going to give up. The weather conditions make the game even more difficult. Uh, we came to this game with a lot of problems as a team and uh, the, the fact that we won the game it doesn't change that we have problems and we, we have to manage and compete while we have uh, 1,000 problems before the game. So I think we can use it as a medicine to keep going until the next game. Yeah, on your side you got a red card. What happened between you and the fourth official? It was not between me and the fourth official, it was between me and the official, the referee. You know, unfortunately, in this country, I have seen the most arrogant, incompetent and rude referees in Africa. I have been in Africa since 2018, but in here they think they are gods. What gives him the right to come and tell me to shut up? That brought my reaction. That he gave me the red card. So I think that you should do something in this country and you should take the example of Uganda. If you see Uganda 15, 20 years ago, they were playing in front of full stadiums. Now you go to see a UPL match and the stadium is empty. You go to see a school tournament, the stadium is full because people were tired of corruption and incompetent referees. So I think it's a serious matter. Because in this country you have nice facilities, you have good teams that they spend money, and you should protect this product. But coach, this is an international referee, the one who is in the pitch. It doesn't change the fact that he told me to shut up. If he's the international referee, okay. So what can I do? Because he's an international referee, I should accept him to, to tell me to shut up. I don't think he's right. Is not, I don't think he's right, because if I tell him to shut up, he will show me a straight red card, and he would be right. But from his side, he should behave properly. Mr. Coach, the next game you, you, you will play against Amagaju, one of the best teams in the league so far, how you are going to prepare that game? And of course, it's an away game. Yes, it's, I don't think there is an easy game this uh, season. This season, all the teams they have made uh, very competitive teams. Amagazu, they are one team that they are very hard working, they play very good, they keep their lines very close. So if we want to take something from that match, we have to double our efforts, we have to focus on our game. And of course we have to be more serious in front of the goal because today we had the chance to, to score a couple more goals but we wasted the chances. So when you go in an away match, if you have one chance you have to score one goal and go home. Thank you, Coach. Are you satisfied with your prayers or your sword? Look, the transfer window now is over. So I have to tell you that my players are the best players I can have because these are my players. Some of them, I choose them. Some of them, they were here. But it doesn't matter, they're my players. So for me, all of them, they're the best. Which is your target in this season? To finish the season. Winning the league? Uh, it's too early to say something like this because uh, you see even uh, Ryan and APR, they are not winning the games easily. So I don't think there is a team that is convincing anybody that's going to win in the league. So we have a long way. We still have uh, a few injured players that when they will come back they will add more depth in our squad and more quality. So we have to see. I think uh, you will see the real Kyovo in the second round. But until then, we have to find a way how to collect points and keep going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.